Hey there, Rumblers. It's uh, Pat from PJM Scheduling Services. Today, I wanted to show you how to import costs into a P6, from Excel into a P6 schedule file. Um, I used to I used to uh, cost load schedules manually, and essentially, what I, I I would end up doing is I would take a schedule like this, uh, you know, copy and paste these activities into Excel, send it to the team, and the the team would populate. Um, you know, how much each activity, uh, what the schedule of values was for, for each one of the individual activities. And then I would manually enter those values back into the schedule. And man, you can imagine how long it would take on, you know, a schedule that has thousands of activities on it. It was not, not a great way of cost loading the schedule. So if I figured out a way to um, import these costs from Excel into P6, and it just made life a whole lot easier. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so say this is the format that we have our costs that, we, that we're wanting to import back into P6. So essentially what this is, is it's just a, a copy paste of our activities from the schedule into Excel and say the team has now provided the costs associated with each activity. And so now how do we get that back into P6? So first, what we have to do in our P6 file is we have to create a resource that, um, that we can assign to the individual activities. So we go to our, our resource library here, add a new, let's add a new resource. I'm just gonna call it cost resource. And um, a couple of the settings that I'm going to uncheck, I'm going to uncheck calculate cost from units and auto compute actuals. I'm going to make it a material resource. Yes, I want to make it a material resource. And um, these, uh, these settings, essentially, if you want to automate when you're during your updating process, if you're wanting to um, have the actual costs be automated based on the percent complete, you would use these and it's a little more tricky than that. Maybe in another video, I'll go into it. But for now, let's just uncheck those, make it easy on ourselves and make it a material resource. Um, so now let's go back to our file. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna assign a resource just to one of the activities that I'm gonna cost load. And that's gonna allow me, cause I'm gonna export this file into Excel um, from P6 into Excel to create it like a template that I can copy the information from my from this Excel file over into and I'm going to be able to import that back in and so that'll allow me to know what is the what is the resource ID that I'm going to use when I'm assigning that cost to, to everything else a little confusing but it'll it'll make sense here in a minute so now that I've created my resource I've assigned it to an activity. Let's go ahead and create an export of the resource assignments into Excel. So I'm gonna check, I'm gonna export into Excel. I'm gonna do resource assignments. That's the only thing that I need for this, uh, to do this. Um, let's export that. Let's create a template. I have one here. Um, and essentially what you want is, you know, if you didn't have all of these over here, I'll, I'll go to default. And we want under costs, we want our budgeted costs, actual cost, remaining cost, and at completion cost. And I can get rid of a few of these, uh, of these guys here. I have my resource ID, perfect. So I have everything that I need to run the import. It's, uh, I can choose a destination to, to export this file to. And so now, here is that exported file that I just created. So you'll notice that here is the activity that we assigned the resource to. So here's that ID, which is called cost. Um, and we have our, our columns for the budgeted cost, actual cost, all that good stuff. Um, so a little bit about these files that Excel exports. You don't wanna change any of the, you don't wanna add any tabs here at the bottom or change the names of them because when you run the, when you import into from this file back into P6, P6 is looking for the tab names 
Um, and if you change the tab name, say you added like a one onto here or something like that, uh, it, it doesn't know to import that file, that, that tab any longer because you've changed the name of it. So keep the tabs the same. Also, keep the row one header names. Uh, do not change those because P6 also looks to those row headers and says, you know, hey, what's target? This is the code for, for budgeted cost. And uh, so it says target cost, and it knows okay th this is the inf this is the target cost information that we're going to be importing. So just know, don't change any of that information. We're using this as a template to bring in what this information, and we need to match the template in order to do the import. So um, how do we do that? We have to now we have to start formatting this information to match our import information here. So what I like to do is let's first get rid of the banners, all of these WBS header rows. Let's delete these. All right. Um, a, a formula that I like to use to clean up the activity IDs is called trim. And that removes all of the spaces that get created when you copy from P6 into Excel. So I trim, trim those. Um, I don't need my activity name. I don't need any of this information. All I want is my budgeted cost to import. And really, I, I actually don't need the $0 values because I don't want to import those. I don't need to import those. Um, so now this is starting to look more like the import, um, the import template that I need. So let's copy the IDs over into our import template. And I like to paste values just to make sure I'm not doing formulas um, and, and also to match the, the destination formatting. Uh, the other thing that I need is the costs. So let's copy all of those costs over to here. And I need to make sure that uh, they match up exactly with the IDs that I want associated with them. Um, there's a couple columns here that we don't need, which is the status, the role ID, and the cost account. We're not gonna be using those, so I can actually delete them. And then what I like to do is, so I copy this cost, um, this cost ID, down for these other values because now I'm confident that that's the that's the resource ID that's going to be used when I run the import because I want that resource assigned to all of these activities here. Okay, so now we have our budgeted cost and our actual cost is going to be zero since none of those activities have made progress yet and I don't want any actual cost associated with them. Our remaining costs should be equal to our budgeted cost. So I'm just going to copy that over. And then our at completion cost is just our actual cost plus remaining cost. So that is also going to be equal to the remaining cost. Okay. So we have budgeted, actual, remaining, at completion. I can now delete this first row on this A1000 row because I was just using it as a, as a, as a guide to know what my my resource assignment was gonna was gonna be for each one of these tasks, so I can actually delete that row now. All right, so now our file is ready for import. It matches the formatting that that uh, the import file needs, and I have all of my IDs. I have the resource that's going to be assigned to each one of these IDs, and I have the cost that's going to be. Um, assigned to each one of these resource assignments. So let's go ahead and save that. Make sure you close the file out and go back into P6. And I'm gonna import that template file that we just closed out. So let's go find out where that file is. And it's right here. Next. Um, because the, the only tab that's on there is for the resource assignments, everything else is grayed out. I'm going to update the existing project, and I'm going to import that information to this baseline schedule. So let's see what happens here. 
All right, so you'll notice um, that the costs didn't get imported yet. And that's because on, on the first import, uh, if there's no resource that's been assigned to the activity, it automatically um, assigns the resource. So it's kind of a nice, like, so it's, what we have to do is import the file twice. And on the first time that we run the import, it will assign that resource to all the activities from that Excel file. And then on the second time, it, it now has a place to enter the dollar amounts with, into, the, into the resource assignments. Um, so now let's run the import one more time. Excel. All right, let's go to OneDrive. All right, so we're running it for a second time. And look at that. So now the costs have been imported properly. And uh, that is that is how you import costs from Excel into P6. So hope that helps. It's a little confusing. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks.